My full name is Kevin Kelly Sean Hutchinson. I'm from Kenosha, Wisconsin. I am one of many individuals who have been outspoken and livid about the discovery of pornographic materials in the schools. I am also the person who the Kenosha administration falsely accused of requesting district student information. Each week while I'm out in the community, people are now approaching me and they're asking me, how can it be that the district has allowed pornography in the schools? The latest example, 11-year-old girl from Lance Middle School brought a horrendous book home from the library. This book is full of F-bombs, violence, and sexually explicit material. The parent was stunned. Can you imagine your 11-year-old daughter? Your 11-year-old daughter. It's unbelievable and it's inexcusable. I want the KUSD parents watching now to know several things. The district is providing, and in some cases promoting, pornographic material to our children. The district is not informing parents that this pornographic material is available to their children. Also, the district policy has no restrictions whatsoever on library material, including pornography, as long as they get some supposed positive review from a group that believes that over-sexualizing our children is a good thing. The district board and administration are fully aware of this situation and they are doing nothing about it. The KUSD needs to do the following. Number one, inform staff to immediately scrub and remove all this objectionable material. There's no law in Wisconsin that says the administration needs to follow the failed policy of 6620. How do we know that this policy has failed? The district has already re removed seven pieces of trash out of sheer embarrassment. There are still over 300 titles that need to go, and I'm not talking about good classical material. Second, this board needs to create a clear and objective policy which, which protects children instead of constantly scandalizing our kids, parents, and their families. And finally, the district needs to disassociate it from the American Library Association, whose president is a self-proclaimed neo-Marxist. Many schools nationwide have already done this. And finally, it's unbelievable to, the, to me that the KUSD has a film policy, number 6610, which does not allow a student to watch a PG-13 movie without first informing their parents and also giving an accurate description of the movie. I quote from the policy, no videos having an R, NC-17, or X should be shown to students at any school. Yet a teacher or a librarian can hand pornography to a student and that's perfectly fine. This is unacceptable.